Hey guys, welcome back to Medicine Deconstructed. I'm your host, Dr. Jay Rutland. This is future Dr. Amelia Rutland. Again, what we're gonna talk about today, continuing with the theme of children, is we're gonna talk about MISC, or multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. We're gonna learn about the pathophysiology. We're gonna learn about potential treatments because I want you guys to know about this therapy and about this inflammatory syndrome because as we see more infections in children going into the future, we're gonna see a lot more of this. Thanks for joining. When you look at MISC, what we do know is up to this point of the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic, about 4,500 kids in the United States have had MISC, but what exactly is MISC? Well, MISC is an inflammatory syndrome that's associated with persistent SARS-CoV-2 remnants, usually within the GI tract. As a result, you get a stimulation of the inflammatory response. You get a stimulation and recruitment of monocytes that end up in the GI tract, and eventually, this will lead to a molecule being released. What we discovered was a molecule named zonulin. It increased the permeability of that layer of cells, in which case certain molecules could get across into the bloodstream, stimulating the inflammatory response essentially throughout the body. When you actually look at the discovery of zonulin, you might ask yourself, well, what were these physicians or these scientists actually studying? Well, what they were actually studying was autoimmune GI tract disease, like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. What was written about a few months ago was that zonulin was released in MISC. So since zonulin increases the permeability of the gastrointestinal cell layer, that epithelial cell layer, you get the molecules that have been left over in the GI tract, I'm talking spike protein, I'm talking nucleocapsid protein, they now have access to the bloodstream. When this happens, in fact, 80% of children have cardiac inflammation and cardiac problems. Children can present with shock, they can present with ventricular dysfunction, that's the muscle of the heart that does all the pumping of the blood. They will present with abdominal pain, they'll present with fever. There is a case report in which some physicians actually gave a baby lorazotide, which is a molecule that inhibits zonulin. The baby had a miraculous recovery from MISC. As the pandemic has been ongoing, we are now seeing MISA, multi-system inflammatory syndrome, in adults. The pathophysiology is likely very, very similar. The presentation is a little bit different. In adults, you're more likely to have an acute infection of SARS-CoV-2, whereas in kids, it's usually weeks after your infection has possibly cleared. But I think the importance of MISC stems from now understanding that it can happen in both adults and children. And the great thing about what we discovered with zonulin is that if zonulin is increasing that epithelial permeability, then inhibiting zonulin may actually help treat these children and we don't have to give these kids these immune system modulators that tone down the immune system and instead can give them a medication like lorazotide. It has to be studied and we're gonna to continue to study it, but that's an update of what MISC is and what likely MISA is. Thanks for joining today's episode of Medicine Deconstructed. I appreciate you guys being here. All I'm doing here is arming you with more information to protect your own kids. Please come back next week for some more ammunition. Thanks for joining. <laughs>